and man, I've been so excited. You and for for people, just so you understand, Teddy and I do not communicate in between podcasts. It's like <laughs> we want to be we want it to be as real as possible when it comes to our reactions and our thoughts and what we're bouncing off each other. Dude, I've been so excited to hear your thoughts on the Jaden Rashada situation. It seems like an absolute mess in Gainesville, Florida. This was a guy, he was committed to Miami, flipped to, re- flipped to Florida, and, and all the reporting I've seen, right? Remember, when the $13 million figure came out, we all were like, no way. There's no right. way that's the number. But, dude, that is the number that keeps coming up. It keeps being reported. It keeps getting put out there time after time after time. And so I'm going to choose to believe that the reporting is accurate. And That's... what what is going on? Like the deal fell through. Now they're negotiating. His dad says he hadn't got it out of his letter of intent, that they're negotiating. They're having conversations with Florida. Like what the hell is going on with this thing? I don't know. It's hard to get any real information, but I someone said to me that a, a, a staffer at the collective made a mistake on the contract, and that's kind of been the hang-up. And I, I don't know exactly what it was, but apparently it's thrown this whole deal into – a uh, a tailspin because he was maybe expecting a, a big chunk of money up front and I, and I, I I don't know the details of the contract but this is what you get whenever you when you turn it into a money situation like this is what you get when kids are going somewhere because of the money and you know Florida's I think Florida's got some good things going for them but I if you're going somewhere because of the money, when something bad goes down or there's a miscommunication, it's a lot harder to keep guys. All right. It's just, you know, in this case, I don't think he's going to find a match for that $13 million. I think the rest of the country is, uh, at least I am laughing at the fact that Florida is going to give a high school kid $13 million. It's the dumbest thing possible, but I'm not mad at, Jaden Rashada for that. That's not his fault. That's Florida's collective's fault for throwing money down the drain on a kid like that. But, you know, hey, this is this is what you get when you go the transactional route. Yeah, and uh, that's why you, ha- you, you hear not only Brent Venables, but several other coaches say, like, hey, it can't just be about the NIL deal. Like, you have to have a good relationship with these kids. Like, and, and you – even though the university can now work with the collective, like you have to have a common understanding of the plan. And I, I still don't know if I believe the $13 million figure, but I know this, if Jaden Rashada and his family signed a contract that said this collective is going to give them $13 million. And then without cause they tried to cancel that contract. Yeah. I'd be pissed too. Like we all would be think about if your employer was like, Hey, we're going to pay you X. Here's the contract, sign it. It's legally binding. Here we go. And then they tried to back out of it. All of us would be like, no, no, no. What the hell? Give me my money. That's what we agreed to. That is what you contractually agreed to. But I don't, is this salvageable? Like, let's say they get him a different NIL deal. I feel like the public damage has already been done, man. Now, maybe he ends up being a stud and he wins him a bunch of games and we all forget about this entire thing and we laugh about it down the road. But I, it I doesn't think- feel like a great way to start off if you're Jaden Rashada and you're in that locker room. I think the damage is is going to be done to the collective right because it sounds like that's where the issue was i there's still maybe a a good chance that rashada wants to go to florida likes the staff like everything that that has happened has been great up until this point except for whatever has happened with the the collective so maybe if the collective can negotiate themselves out of this thing then you could still have a 
a happy ending there for everyone, but I I don't know. I there's no way to justify thirteen million dollars for this kid. No way. I don't care how good he is. There's you just you cannot do that. It's ridiculous. It's a massive waste of money. You you also don't want to lose your highest ranked recruit in your recruiting class. Well, and it's you have to if you're Florida's collective and you're Florida staff, like you gotta find a more reasonable figure. I I firmly believe some of these five star quarterbacks are signing deals where they are making two to three million dollars, maybe total, but I I, th- I I bet some of them are getting two to three million dollars guaranteed. Each year. I think that's reasonable. Like if you talk about the face of your program, eventually the guy that like there's, there's clearly some risk in guaranteeing that amount of money to a high school kid. But if you're going to bet on anything, you're going to bet on five-star quarterback. You're not, you're not throwing that type of money at anyone else. Right. But I just, I'm so interested in how Florida is going to fix this mess, man, because it's, it is not a good look, not a good look publicly. It just isn't. It looks awful. They look, they look disorganized. They look stupid. Is how they look. Yeah, yeah. It looks bad. I, I don't. There's a lot of this going on though, man. There's a lot of. We've seen a lot of numbers being thrown around, but, it just it still appears like, there's not a whole lot of, checks clearing into accounts, right? It's like it's like they're finding ways to get people in on these big contracts. And I don't know if they're tying it to performance or what it's tied to necessarily, but it just doesn't feel like the the cash is ever hitting the account like it's supposed to. I'll say my favorite part of this entire story is people are like, well, Jen Rashad has to make a decision. The, you know, you know, Florida's ad drop date is coming up. Guys, the administration there at Florida is going to make an exception for the borderline five-star quarterback, okay? Don't don't worry about the academic calendar for the young man. He'll be fine. It'll all work out. he's an early enrollee. You know, it's like at, at the worst case, you just – you miss a semester and you get started on on it the next semester, Yeah. Right? All right. Or you go somewhere else that's willing yeah. to pay the $13 million. Bet yeah. Miami will. <laughs> Yeah, old John Ruiz is gonna be yeah. uh, hitting up the Rashad. It's like, hey, he'll, he'll pay the thirteen million just to just so he doesn't go to Florida, right? Got to do what you got to do, man. It's the uh, this is college football now. 